What is the Church of God in Christ? The Church of God in Christ is a Pentecostal holiness majority black Christian denomination. It was founded in 1897 and in 1907 after a split over the doctrines of Pentecostalism, it was organized separately as a Pentecostal group. For more information on the founding and later split that formed the Assemblies of God, watch the video Church Splits, Assemblies of God and Church of God in Christ here on the Ready to Harvest channel. According to the Pew Research Center, the racial composition of the Church of God in Christ is 84% black, 5% white, and 8% Latino. It has 8.8 .8 million members, 5 million in the United States, making it the fifth largest denomination and the largest Pentecostal denomination in the United States. Let's look at what the Church of God in Christ holds to for doctrine. On major Christian doctrines, the Church of God in Christ, or Kojic, affirms the Trinity, deity of Christ, his virgin birth, death, burial, and resurrection, and visible return, and believes in a literal heaven, hell, and literal devil. On the topic of the scripture, the Church of God in Christ affirms the 66 book canon, teaching that it is inspired and inerrant and holding the Bible as the final and only authority for faith and practice. Their website states, We believe that the Bible is the word of God and contains one harmonious and sufficiently complete system of doctrine. We believe in the full inspiration of the word of God. We hold the word of God to be the only authority in all matters and assert that no doctrine can be true or essential if it does not find a place in this word. The Church of God in Christ doesn't have sacraments but instead has ordinances and there are three, the Lord's Supper, feet washing, and water baptism. The view of the Lord's Supper is that it is symbolic. The Kojic website says, the Lord's Supper symbolizes the Lord's death and suffering for the benefit and in the place of his people. It also symbolizes the believer's participation in the crucified Christ. It represents not only the death of Christ as the object of faith which unites the believers to Christ, but also the effect of this act as the giving of life, strength, and joy to the soul. The communicant by faith enters into a special spiritual union of his soul with the glorified Christ. On feet washing they say, Feet washing is practiced and recognized as an ordinance in our church because Christ by his example showed that humility characterized greatness in the kingdom of God and that service rendered to others gave evidence that humility motivated by love exists. These services are held subsequent to the Lord's Supper, however its regularity is left to the discretion of the pastor in charge. Baptism is viewed as a necessary practice but not absolutely required for salvation. Immersion is the only mode practiced, and unlike Oneness Pentecostals, the formula used is in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. On baptism not being required for salvation, The Way of the Cross, Church of God in Christ, a multi-site church in California, says on their website, The Bible clearly teaches that we are saved by grace through faith and according to God's mercy. The thief on the cross next to Jesus had no time to be baptized, yet Jesus promised that he would be with him in paradise that day. The Bible contains no record of Jesus baptizing anyone, a strange omission if baptism was essential for salvation. The Apostle Paul declared, For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. This clearly indicates that salvation is a response of faith to the gospel, not the act of baptism. Therefore, water baptism is not an act of salvation, but an act of obedience. Baptism is for believers only and not infants. The Church of God in Christ teaches in their official manual that there was a literal Adam and Eve, although there are not any official statements about evolution or creation. However, like most Pentecostal denominations and those who hold to inerrancy, church members are more likely to reject human evolution. The Pew Research Center's 2014 Religious Landscape Survey found that 54% of Church of God in Christ members say that humans always existed in present form, while 25% say they evolved due to God's design, and 16% say they evolved due to natural processes or evolved in an unknown way. As stated in the official manual, the Church of God in Christ affirms original sin. Adam's sin, committed by eating of the forbidden fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, earned with it a permanent pollution or depraved human nature to all his descendants. This is called original sin. On salvation, the Church of God in Christ teaches a necessary born-again experience or conversion involving repentance and faith. A basic training manual from the Church of God in Christ website states, You cannot save yourself. Only Christ can save you. Neither can good works, church membership, or trying to be good save you. The only way to be saved is to repent of your sins and ask Jesus to save you. There are two additional, subsequent, distinct experiences following salvation. To show this precisely, notice this form from the Kojic website to apply to be a chaplain for the Church of God in Christ. The form asks for a date of conversion, date of sanctification, and date filled with the Holy Ghost. 
On sanctification, the basic training manual says the following. Sanctification is something that we must pursue or seek earnestly if we are to obtain it. While it is God's work, we have our part in it to make it the object of our earnest desire and pursuit. We attain sanctification through presenting our members as servants, literally slaves, to righteousness and becoming ourselves bondservants unto Christ. Practically, there may be a few different views within the Church of God in Christ on sanctification. Their website states, Sanctification is that gracious and continuous operation of the Holy Ghost by which he delivers the justified sinner from the pollution of sin, renews his whole nature in the image of God, and enables him to perform good works. So sanctification is officially viewed as an ongoing process as well. Hans Hillebrand writes in the Encyclopedia of Protestantism that after Mason the denomination officially moved away from the doctrine of entire sanctification, although it is still widely held. Officially, Kojic maintains that the Spirit's deliverance from sin is a continued process. The Church of God in Christ believes that following salvation and then sanctification, a person can have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. This Holy Spirit baptism is accompanied with the initial evidence of speaking in tongues. Their website states, We believe that the baptism of the Holy Ghost is an experience subsequent to conversion and sanctification, and that tongue speaking is the consequence of the baptism in the Holy Ghost with the manifestations of the fruit of the Spirit. We believe that we are not baptized with the Holy Ghost in order to be saved. When one receives a baptismal Holy Ghost experience, we believe one will speak with a tongue unknown to oneself according to the sovereign will of Christ. To be filled with the Spirit means to be Spirit-controlled, as expressed by Paul in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19. Since the charismatic demonstrations were necessary to help the early church to be successful in implementing the command of Christ, we therefore believe that a Holy Ghost experience is mandatory for all men today. Most in the Church of God in Christ believe that a person who is saved can lose their salvation and be lost again. The Church of God in Christ believes in the ongoing continuation of all the spiritual gifts, such as prophecy, tongues, interpretations, and so on. In 2004, the Kojic General Board and Board of Bishops made a statement on marriage that included the following. We believe that the homosexual practices of same-sex couples are in violation of religious and social norms and are aberrant and deviant behavior. Kojic is also opposed to abortion. In 2016, they began a joint initiative with the Human Coalition on this matter. The Kojic blog says, Human Coalition is honored to announce the inauguration of a three-year initiative with the Church of God in Christ to advance their common mission of making abortion unthinkable and unavailable in America. Together, Human Coalition and the Church of God in Christ, Kojic, which is the oldest Pentecostal denomination in the country, will work to promote the culture of life in African American communities. Though not formally in their doctrine, Church of God in Christ congregations discourage or prohibit the use of alcohol. Modesty and dress may be encouraged, as well as maintaining a lifestyle of distinction from the world, including discouraging profanity and activities viewed as worldly. The Church's polity is unique, having both an ecclesiastical structure and a corporate structure. On the corporate or civil side, there is a president, vice presidents, general secretary, general treasurer, and financial secretary, all elected by a general assembly. There is a CEO and many other corporate positions as well. Ecclesiastically, there is a mix of Episcopal and Presbyterian polity. Congregations are part of districts of five to seven churches with an elder or pastor as a superintendent over the district. Districts are contained in larger jurisdictions under a bishop. Above these is a presiding bishop, the chief apostle. The supreme authority of the church is the General Assembly, composed of various leaders and laypersons from the jurisdictions. Clergy are allowed to be married, and divorce of clergy or within the membership is highly discouraged. Women are not ordained to the position of elder or bishop in the Church of God in Christ, but they may be licensed to preach the gospel as evangelists, missionaries, or serve as chaplains. Practically, some women have been the leaders of local churches, using titles like shepherdess or church administrator. Many churches have the office of church mother, who is a leader of women's ministries, though this role may often lie with the pastor's wife. The Church of God in Christ is a member of the Pentecostal Charismatic Churches of North America and not a member of the National Association of Evangelicals, National Council of the Churches of Christ in the USA, or the World Council of Churches.